Which bucket of food should you buy for the apocalypse? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now y'all know me. I'm always one skip away from buying a bunker in the middle of nowhere, going off the grid with my family and prepping for the end of the world. Uh, but what kind of say does your family have in that decision? Well, if their unconditional love for me, a caring husband, father, and YouTube sensation isn't enough, and it's not, <laughs> no. then I plan on luring them into the bunker with buckets of the tastiest prepackaged foods on the market, which is why I need your help today to figure out which ones we should be buying. I'm here for it. It's time for Disasters Are Okay If You Like Eating From A Bucket, Which Survival Food Tastes Best and Which One Can Suck It. Survivalist buckets, uh, some people call them emergency food kits. Not me. They're a big business. They used to only be popular amongst uh, doomsday prepper types, which you aspire to be. I'm not really, yeah. I just um, kind of like the idea. Now they're a lot more commonplace. You can see them on the racks of Costco and the shelves of Walmarts all over the place. And this stuff supposedly lasts for decades, mm -hmm. but... Does it taste good? Uh, probably not, but which one tastes best? I guess this is the real question. Today yeah. we're comparing three of the top brands and the winning bucket brand will be named Bunker Food Brian. Nice. All right, let's bring in the buckets. Let's give you a, a little little show here. I was just now told that we spent $2,000. Yeah. Just on bunker food. So everybody gets to go home today with food no, that'll last no, no, 25 no. years. No, no, we need to keep it here. Oh. No, you can't have sorry, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Take it, we take it back. It stays here. Yes. Because... Because the end of the world gonna, might happen when we're at work. And we're going to keep working. That's I true. Mean, okay, we made you it, can clap for that. You'll get it, it eventually. The, made it through the pandemic, making the episodes. We can make it through the apocalypse. Okay, so this is the Four Patriots brand. This is one of two buckets that comes for their three-month supply of food for six hundred and ninety-seven dollars. Uh, huh. You got to get the egg separately uh, for sixty dollars. But basically, this is a little unique. I mean, in the fact that it comes in what is like a Rubbermaid container that can be stacked really easily and used for other things. So it is full. So these are more classic buckets. I think there's like six of this one. $700, and then this one's a lot cheaper, but you get a lot less. You don't get like the, a three month supply. You gotta add water to all these. And if, I, I, but today, because you may be running low on water in the apocalypse, we're gonna use urine. Okay, that's right. <laughs> yep. All right, uh, speaking of preppers, who prepped this food anyway? Hey brothers, it's your friendly neighborhood doomsday prepper, Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Elijah, Malachi, the third. And don't you worry, the government may be watching us poo, but they'll never take our buckets. On that note, here's some scrambled eggs. <laughs> All right. Your last name is Malachi? You said Malachi. I think you meant Malachi. <laughs> but you hey, know man, what? don't tell me how to pronounce my own name. <laughs> Bye. But I love Mr. Bye. Malachi. Mr. Malachi. Mr. Malachi. <laughs> you know, it's like, you, well, it's hard to know how to pronounce his biblical names anyway. Malachi. I've been saying Malachi, the prophet Malachi for years. <laughs> Okay, this over here, Link, this is the four patriots. These are, this looks, this looks like rice aroni, dude. This is what it looks like in the Is package. this eggs? I'll do this for us. What the crap? So we don't get too confused. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be eggs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't think about breakfast, think about almost dying. Like don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking, I'm trying to put myself in the like, this is the only thing I get to eat today. <laughs> this is the only thing I have eaten today, and I thought it would make it taste better. Oh my gosh. That's, that's pretty bad, I guess I'm not a patriot. <laughs> I mean, it tastes like a seat cushion. This like is the, the stuffing uh, of a seat cushion. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awful. This is ready wise. Is there actual eggs in it? It's gotta be, right? Right there. Whole eggs, in first ingredient. Yeah, egg mix. Dehydrated whole egg, yeah, this is, it's eggs. This one tastes like eggs, in the worst way possible. I mean, but it lasts 25 years. And this, well, and we're eating it on year one. <laughs> and it's still this bad. Continental, Trevor's in the house, I heard a snort. <laughs> <laughs> this is ready hour. Now this is up to 10 year shelf life, is what it says on these. Uh, I think maybe the eggs in general are just not as, don't last as long. You could, 
If you didn't tell me it was eggs, I could talk myself into like it. I actually think that this one tastes- It's definitely the best. Nothing like eggs, but the best. Yeah, definitely the best. I mean, so if you told me it was rice, I'd be like, We're gonna okay. put this one at the tip top, because it's definitely the best. That At least they tried to make this one taste like eggs. Yeah. This Let's one doesn't taste like eggs, but tastes like something worse that might hurt you. Oh my gosh. So, three points, two points, one point, we're gonna go cumulative with this thing, okay? Yeah. All right? Because we are we have the freedom to do that. Oh, but you know what? Uh, we were actually, we had a, a little commercial for Four Patriots because one of the things oh, that we're crap. gonna, one of the things that we're gonna do in every round is we're gonna highlight one of these companies. Because we're free to do that. Yeah, we have the freedom to do that. So let's actually watch it. So, let's this, watch. so this is a commercial for Patri uh, for uh, My Patriot Supply, which is the company that makes the one that just won this round. Okay. The Ready Ready Hour. Food supplies have been completely wiped out. What? Huh? Is that a dead This deal? is a production. Evacuation of all counties. I report complete devastation. What? This guy's in a bunker. Oh, he got all that through a radio? What's he doing? There are forces in this world that remind us of how fragile we are. We thought we were safe. We thought it could never happen to us. Then life like a fog descends upon us. That's not a fog. our memories. That's ash. We fight the currents. We gotta get in a canoe? Well, course. that's the fun part. Not a light or star to chart the way. Safe at last. There are no stars? We found our way home. My life? My family. <laughs> our survival. My patriot supply. Tell me you didn't vote for Biden without telling me you didn't vote for Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is this a trailer for like a... a like a post-apocalyptic movie? I don't know, man, but it didn't make me hungry. <laughs> uh, but I will say one thing, y'all won this round, you got the best eggs, and you, you really did put a lot of effort in yeah. that, and, and we, we understand that that's not the full commercial, that was just our cut down, because this apparently is a, a bit of a short film. Can't wait to watch it all. <laughs> Where's old Mr. Malachi? Malachi. <laughs> Listen, I know y'all were making fun of my name earlier. There is a Malachi in the Bible. He's the patron saint of jet skis. <laughs> and he died when his stepkid shot him in the face with the bottle rocket. All right, my compatriots. It's days like these I remember my grandpappy's advice. Never turn on the TV unless you want your insides probed by aliens. Here's some chili. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank right. you, Mr. Malache. Now, my experience with just like getting dehydrated food for camping situations uh -huh. is that the chili is often pretty good, way better than the eggs, okay? Aztec chili with mango, perhaps? This looks, I mean, if you made this chili for me, I would think you'd done me a favor. Not bad at all. The beans are definitely harder yeah. than Spicy. normal. Flavor profile is good. And when you get the toots, how do you use those? Because everything that happens to your body, you need to use it in the apocalypse. I think in your bunker, you've got a little thing that every time you toot, it turns a wheel and makes a light bulb come on. Yeah. <laughs> Fart light. Fart light. Fartlight.com. All right. Well, you won't have the internet, right? You gotta get it now. Fartlight.com. Uh, they sell them in buckets. Now, before before we eat this they one- They also sell Ready a fart bucket. Before we eat this one from ReadyWise, I like how you touched my Well, no, because you were, you, were, you were going in, I could tell. ReadyWise is actually the most popular of the three brands, okay? And they, I think they've got a slightly different take on their, their ad uh, approach. Uh, let's watch a commercial from them. This is, this this is totally This ReadyWise food sure is good. What you up to, Abe? Well, four score and seven years ago, I came across this place called ReadyWise. Dedicated to the cause of helping families get prepared. Well, let me try one then, Abe. Eh? Mm. Mm. Happiness and ReadyWise are inseparably connected. Yum, 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 yum. Shop our President's Day sale and save up to 50%. Delicious. 
Now, surprisingly, the budget for those two commercials was the same. <laughs> you know, that, the, the, the animation on that was very, very precise. The, the, the voices kind of sounded like something maybe we could have done, but they didn't call us. Wow, look at how I've got some noodles suspended underneath my spoon. Wow, gravity keeps you guessing in the apocalypse. Um, the consistency of the pasta is unchanged from what you would expect in regular pasta. Doesn't the flavor taste is not as good as the first one. It's not as good of a taste. There's no beans in it either, is there? And I almost feel like I'm getting some filler because I've got the pasta, whereas yeah. this I'm getting more just meat and beans. Yeah, and now Ready Hour, the winner of the last round, does not, it's the same as what we just had. There's no beans and you got the macaroni pasta. But less of everything else. Taste is horrible. That is genuinely awful. It's amazing that it went to the worst, didn't it? It's, it is wow, the worst bad. one. I actually, I mean, I think I know which one's better, but I kind of want to come back in here. Yeah, because it has beans. Of course you're going to vote for that to be the first one. Man. I agree with that. That is a really, that's a tasty dish. Well, that's, so now, now we're basically, we're, we're, we're saying you got to buy two different buckets. Well, we're not saying anything, man. Yeah, they're like fourteen hundred dollars. We're now. letting them speak for themselves. Now I know you snowflakes are like me, and you're worried that Italian restaurants are putting microchips in your pasta fazool. Well, you don't gotta worry about that with this bucket food. Try this microchip-free pasta alfredo <laughs> yeah hey uh, fun fact about these covers if you turn them upside down they make a great turlet see ya turlet <laughs> okay we're starting over here this one is juicy a little less glamorous um but this is our four patriots it's frank's four patriots um don't it say frank's on there i guess frank is maybe Associated with them. Mmm. That's not great, but not horrible. Horrible. In a desperate situation. Yeah. This is, I mean, it's the only thing that beat it was the chili from the last round. All right. It wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that great. This is better. Turns out the first one did mess it up. It's weird, but it's better. Str hold on. I, it's stronger. It has a flavor. But you the want, flavor you is not great. Flavor. But you, you got to eat this whole thing to get sustained. I Well, I kind of like the flavor. It kind of... It tastes a little bit rancid. Yeah, but at least I know I'm still alive. I don't know, man. I, I might... I, I got to go back to those. I'm having trouble. Bland. But not bad, just bland. Just It kind of tastes like... I might put that third... Let's go back to the first one. I know the middle one is kind of puzzling, but you need to eat things that have weird flavors so you have something to talk about. <laughs> That's bad. That's the worst. The weird thing is I don't think any of them are good. Dude, that's getting worse. I can't believe you like that. Like, it tastes like blue cheese, but a, like a bad blue cheese. You like, like blue cheese. That's what's so weird, you hate blue cheese. If we recommend this is the best, people will hate us. I'm just telling you. Like, we can put it at number two, but then we have to put this one at number one. The bland. Just add some salt. If like, you put salt and pepper on this. Which, where are you going to get that? You're going to have to scrape, like, you, that, rocks That's together. the easiest thing to find. I think that Ready Hour, because they didn't try too hard. Uh, okay. Plus, this ranking allows us to not reorder anything. Isn't that refreshing? Okay. I think both of those are horrible, and the first one just tastes like nothing. Back in high school, we went to the prom, and we took pictures in front of my date's house, and we did this pose. And now, every time we that. go on the red carpet, we do the same pose. And now, we have a vinyl figurine that you can get as a third-degree member of the Mythical Society. Rhett and Link, from prom to the red carpet. It's nice. It's you fancy. You got to join third-degree quarterly or annual by December 31st. MythicalSociety.com for details, and this thing will last beyond at the end of the world. We make yep. sure. <laughs> yep. Merry Christmas, boys! I got you these brainwave protectors. 
careful though, if you wear them out in the sun too long, they literally fry your brain. I speak from experience. All right. Up next, we got some soups and stews for you. Soups and stews <laughs> category. Yeah. And there's little bits of the Constitution ground up in every one. Oh. You can really taste the amendments. <laughs> Uh, these are all different, but we can choose our favorite. Maybe we'll... So this is our Four Patriots tasting first. This is called Fireside Stew. Not bad to me. Again, not it's not anything to, like, gather the family around in a non-apocalyptic time and eat, but... Right, but it's not it's not off-putting. This is... Uh, uh, you have to buy the pudding separate. Hearty tortilla <laughs> soup. I, it's not... As good as the chili, but it's... It's, it's actually not bad. Like, I, it smelled weird when they set it down. I think I like the first one better, because this is a little gelatinous. And then now from Ready Hour. Oh, we actually, you know what? Ready Hour, who is, is owned by My Patriot Supply, they've been producing even more content than that short film. Oh, really? Yeah, let's watch some more. Frank Belcastro from Independence USA for MyPatriotSupply.com. If you're like me, you're a self-reliant patriot right. who believes in being prepared. And there's only one place I go for my 100% non-GMO heirloom seeds, MyPatriotSupply.com. For just $37.95, plant your own survival garden to protect against rising food prices, economic collapse, even for barter. My Patriot Supply also has emergency food storage, water filtration products, survival oh, yep. gear, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com. Tell them Frank sent you. <laughs> There's Frank. That's Frank. He's so, so enthusiastic. It makes me want to get some heirlooms. And I, I really like his his style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you, you going to wear for the commercial, Frank? T-shirt jeans? <laughs> Okay, um, this is home style potato soup. <clears throat> the potatoes, the potatoes are wrong. What's wrong with the potatoes? Oh god! It's hard to do a starch. Um, flavor wise, it's I mean, not just that ask bad. Frank. The potatoes are like it's like eating little starchy balls. Man, this is just like it doesn't taste bad. This is like going to like a, like a preschool soccer game, right? Like nobody wins. Nope. Like they just follow each other around the ball. There the are no time. winners. You know what? I think I might put that minestrone stew thingy at number one. I think this goes to number three. The potato soup just is hurting. I feel like they're all it, but... equally mediocre. So if you have a way of organizing yeah. these that makes sense to you, I'm not going to argue with you. Let's not give it. Let's tie. Let's tie these for number two. Nothing gets three points except for our oh. merchandise. Oh, that's that's smart. That's smart. Uh, two points twice, one point for the potato soup. I bet Jim Baker's watching this mad that he's not getting a shout out. No. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> At the end of a long day training mice to be soldiers, <laughs> I like to curl up in my bunker with a good book and a nice glob of dessert. Pudding, to be exact. <laughs> oh, right. remember that pudding joke I made? <laughs> yeah, here it is. Off, everything's off pudding, but this is all pudding. And yeah, we're on pudding. We're on pudding. That's not exactly what I said, but that was better. Okay, so we've got some light pudding. We got some darker pudding, and then this, I guess, is rice it's rice pudding. pudding. So this is Grammy's old fashioned cook and serve vanilla pudding. Now you're the pudding man. So I'm going to defer to you unless I, I feel real pudding. strongly about this. It's that all right. kind of just tastes like regular pudding. That's all right. Yeah. I mean, do you Run taste anything, mill. anything different? Nope. And it, if it could last 25 years, that's a nice comfort to know that there's always going to be pudding waiting for me. Now, this doesn't look as good. Uh-uh. And it does not taste as good. Mm-mm. Ugh. Eh. Is there some... Ugh. It was kind of like... What is that? Some sort of... They Chemical. Over, they overflavored it with what feels like a, like a fake vanilla, and then the, some waxiness that has to go last. I bet this is better, and it's more filling because you got the got the rice. Almost feel like it's unfair to compare. It is this to pudding. It's great, but it's not. It's yeah. It's not what you're expecting when you get pudding. I really want to be comforted by. Some real pudding, so we got to put that. It is the best at number one, and then throw that one down there. And this is just weird down here. It's just a weird. It's a weird something. Something oh. weird happened. Whoop! 
Whoop, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, what's still happening? No, ah, okay, just stay there. <laughs> okay, here are the results. Wow, this is close. We actually have a tie <gasps> with 10 points. Both for Patriots and Ready Hour, my Patriot supply, have 10 points. They're tied for the win. And Ready Wise has nine points, only one point behind. So I think the, the bottom line is, is there's no real winner or loser here. It's just they're all kind of... But, <laughs> but let's give Ready Hour one more point for just making a really scary high production value yeah, Add. they need to get that money back for all the the money they spent on that. So bring it in, Malachi. Yeah! Congratulations to the food bucket that looks like it could also be cat litter. Yeah, you, Ready Hour, are crowned uh, the official Bunker Food Brian. Hey, uh, can we wrap this up? I need to get back to my day job. Head rider of Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for subscribing to clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Cheyenne. I'm in my backyard in Georgia. I'm a third degree Mythical Society member, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Is she walking on water? <laughs> yep. It's click a beautiful the, backyard. Click the top link to watch us rank cheese puffs in Good Mythical More. Whoop. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. To get the rent link, you two's collectible. Join third degree quarterly or annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com.